Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Excuse me, Fabio here again. I want to welcome everyone back to another video. And I apologize about not wearing a shirt. I just got back from the gym and I'm hot. So I figured I might as well cool off a little bit while I'm doing this video for you. And this is a video, um, been just kind of, again, like with a, most of these random videos that I've been doing, just another topic that's been bouncing around in this thing I call a brain up here for the about the last week. Um, I wanted to talk about Mortal Kombat and just why I love Mortal Kombat and, and my memories of Mortal Kombat and everything. And, um, and this kind of branches off of another type of video that I wanted to do. Uh, a, lo a long time ago, I had an idea to do a video just talking about childhood memories, just, you know, the things that I grew up with and just positive memories from my childhood and stuff like that. And for whatever reason, I never did a video like that. Maybe one of these days I will find the uh, the time to do one, you know. And, um, yeah, I just, you know, I like doing these random, you know, I've done some of these type of videos before where I talked about, you know, my history with different franchises or different actors and, and stuff of that nature. You know, so again, I do like doing these videos. You know, it's not really a review but it's kind of like a retrospect, looking back, talking about just different things, you know, positive things. I figured, you know what, why not? Why not come on here and uh, talk about Mortal Kombat? And the reason why I wanted to talk about Mortal Kombat is uh, last week I actually watched both of the movies. I got, you know, as you saw, I got the movie on DVD. And I don't know, it just... At some point last week, Mortal Kombat just was running through my head. The the movies, the, the music of the movies and the games as well. You know, the video games themselves and just all the different things from the franchise that I love so much. And it was just, you know, just bouncing around in my head. And, you know, uh, last weekend I picked up the movie on DVD, the old uh, Snapper case, because that's what I was looking for. And um, I watched, you know, the... The two movies because I just wanted to watch them. You know, I love the first Mortal Kombat film is definitely a classic. I remember, vaguely remember when the movie came out. I was only three at the time. That was 1995. But I vaguely remember the movie coming out. And then when it came out on video, that I remember because my dad actually bought a copy um, from the video store um, back, you know, in, in 19, probably 1996, because um, the movie came out, what, August 95? So the video did, probably didn't come out. Yeah, the video came out like January 96, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. But I love the first movie to death. I think it's the best uh, video game movie made. It's it's always been my favorite video game movie made. And I, I still think that, uh, you know, 23 years later, almost, that the movie still holds up well. I, I still think it's a classic. And I enjoy the hell out of it. I love the movie. Second movie, not so much. Uh, the second movie, I, there was just, in my opinion, there was just too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, there was just too much going on. I think they tried to make two movies at once. And they threw everything, including the kitchen sink in the movies. And I think that's where it, you know, it, it failed, uh, you know, at the you know, it made a little bit of money, but, it, you know, at the box office, I, it didn't compare to the first film in box office and the quality of the movie. Um, uh, you know, there are some points of the, the movie I do like. I do enjoy the, the fight scenes. I do like the soundtrack. And that's pretty much it, um, you know, from the... Uh, I like some of the cast members. I thought Robin Shu did, uh, I think, the best job that he could have done, you know, with the material that he had. I like the guy that played Jax. I thought uh, Talisa Soto, who played Katana, was a, you know was good, but the second movie definitely sucked. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, just watching those movies and then listening to the soundtracks that I have here on my computer and then also on my iPod and watching, you know, I have emulators of the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo versions of the games. Um, I haven't played those. Man. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good at playing games on the computer. I'd rather play it on the console. Um, but I was never really particularly good at Mortal Kombat, you know. But, um, 
Yeah, just and then watching people like watching playthroughs of the first two games here on here on YouTube was like, yeah, you know, it's cool. And just thinking about, you know, just the uh, Mortal, you know, the uh, the era of Mortal Kombat back in the '90s. You know, Mortal Kombat was definitely one of the the biggest video game franchises back then. It was the the home version of Mortal Kombat was the highest selling game at that point, which was I mean, badass. Um, you know, and, and Mortal Kombat, you know, I think people now don't really understand or appreciate Mortal Kombat, but as, as much as they used to, but it was a big deal back in the day. You know, I remember, um, renting the first game for Sega Genesis because I had, that's what I had growing up. I had Sega Genesis, all my relatives and my friends had Super Nintendo, so when I would go to their houses, it was all about Super Nintendo. When they would come to my house, it was all about Sega Genesis. And that's pretty cool to remember that kind of stuff. But I remember renting, you know, playing playing them in the arcade. I do remember because um, those games, those arcade cabinets were everywhere. And they still are. I mean, most like retro arcades and stuff that you go to now will obviously have one of the first three Mortal Kombat games. Or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, um, which was the kind of like the remastered back then version of Mortal Kombat 3. It was the improved version. But um, yeah, I just remember playing them in the arcade. I remember there was a skating rink that I used to go to. I think they had one and three, if I'm not mistaken. And I just remember uh, later on, now, now that was back in Baltimore, but now where I live, um, one of the local pizza places had Mortal Kombat 2, and that's when I went to Catholic school, and it was, like, right down the street. So, like, on Fridays, we'd get off of school, and me and my dad and my brother would go get pizza, and I'd sit there and eat pizza and play Mortal Kombat 2. I mean, can't go wrong with that, in my opinion. Um, and then I remember playing Mortal Kombat 4 a couple times, not really. The, the first three games are my favorite, the 2D games and then Mortal Kombat, or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, excuse me. And Mortal Kombat Trilogy, because that's another nostalgic game, which I'll get into in a, in a little bit here. Before, I, I never really got into Mortal Kombat 4. I don't know. I just didn't really like the 3D. The 3D looked really shitty back then, and that was, what, 98, if I'm not mistaken? 1998? Um, and I just, I don't know. Like I remember when it came out for PlayStation and stuff, and I was really excited about it because I had PlayStation. But I never got Mortal Kombat 4 for the home uh, systems and again I don't know I just really didn't like the way the game looked it just looked really odd it looked really out of place it wasn't until Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance where I think they got the 3D down to a T because some of the later games I do enjoy Deadly Alliance Armageddon I like even Shaolin Monks I know Shaolin Monks isn't your traditional Mortal Kombat game but I still enjoy that one and that's really all that I played I think maybe I played 10 I don't know. I'm not sure. But I like to stick with the old ones. You know, I, I really enjoy the... And same with Street Fighter. I like the older Street Fighter games. Um, you know, Street Fighter 1, 2 mostly, but also I like the first one. and uh, Street Fighter Alpha and some of the spinoffs back in the day. And, um, yeah, you know, just really, you know, growing up playing those. Um, I remember renting the first game for Sega Genesis. I distinctly remember that because it was like a we had like a party or something at my house and my cousin had got there early and I remember sitting there in the living room with him um, my parents had this pink fuzzy chair I remember sitting in that chair and playing Mortal Kombat and my cousin was sitting on the floor next to me because you know the TV was like you know you had to sit in being little you had to sit in the chair because the TV was up high and the the games that Sega Genesis was on top of the TV, so you didn't want to, you know, bring it down. So you had to sit in the chair, you know. I remember my cousin sitting there next to me, playing with some toys. I remember he was dancing to the music of Mortal Kombat. I don't know how or why this still sticks out in my head. And my cousin actually remembers it. One time I brought it up and he goes, I remember that. And yeah, I remember, you know, just positive memories of my family and stuff. So I remember that. And then my neighbor actually had Mortal Kombat 2 on Sega Genesis. And I remember they let me borrow that forever. And I remember playing through that, you know, back then. 
And that was pretty much it. Three, I don't think I've ever played three in the, the home version. I know that it's it was the first one to get released on PlayStation. Um, I would like to track that down at some point. But Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I definitely remember playing that in the arcade. Because the place that I used to go camping um, had that in their arcade. And I just quarter, 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 quarter into that thing. I remember um, distinctly also playing that game because I was using Striker, who is a character that I really like. And I don't know how I did it. It was just button mashing. But I did the move where he pulls out a gun and he shoots the opponent. And my buddy was like, dude, that's so cool. And like we talked about that for days, you know. And again, you know, this, this is just pot, you know, this was before the fucking internet. This was before Facebook. This was before YouTube. This is back when you, if you really wanted to experience something, you had to go do it. Like you literally had to do it. It's not like now where you watch a video and you think it's cool and then you want to go do it. You know what I mean? Like back then it was really word of mouth. Like this guy recommended this game. Okay, cool. Rent it. All right. Yeah. I like it, buy it, you know, back then, it, you know, just simpler times, man. It was just a simpler time when you had to experience things firsthand in order to find out about something. Now, you know, you could just, to fight reptile, you just look it up on YouTube. You know, back then you actually had to figure out how to find reptile in the game and, and win and, and, and fight him, you know, it's just different times back then. So that's really kind of it for the original games. Like I said, 4, I never really got into. Uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is another favorite because that was for the PlayStation. That was a home exclusive. Um, it's, it was basically an upgrade from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but it included uh, elements from the previous games as well. And one of my best friends, he actually lived down the street from my grandparents, had that game on PlayStation. So we would always go to his house. And as a matter of fact, the other day, we had we just talked about this because um, on Facebook I shared a picture. It was a picture of Mortal Kombat. It said I grew up. You know, it's one of them memes. It's like I grew up playing violent games like this, and you don't see me shooting anybody. You know, after the recent events that have you know perspired again. You know, another school shooting. You know, we wonder why these things happen. It has nothing to do with video games or movies. It has to do with fucking crazy ass motherfuckers. That's what it has to do. That's all I'm going to say about that subject. But anyway, I shared this picture and my friend and I were just reminiscing about playing uh, uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And a funny but kind of weird note, um, the first time I watched porno, was actually at his house and we, you know how like you flip between the channels when people walk in the room or whatever. We actually had Mortal Kombat Trilogy on and we just flipped the channel between the adult video and the video game. So I know it's kind of a weird note there, but you know, it's a, it's a positive memory, so to speak. And people are probably thinking that I'm gross and misogynistic and crazy and all this other fucking shit, but whatever. Anyway, so... Yeah, Mortal, and then later on, I remember buying actually Mortal a copy of Mortal Kombat trilogy for PlayStation at Blockbuster. It was uh, when Blockbuster had video games because they actually got rid of video games a few years before they had stopped. You know, they had gone out of business. Well, most of them. Um, there's still a few Blockbusters left. Two in Alaska, one in Texas, I believe. Anywho, um, I remember purchasing that um, from. Blockbuster, and I think that was the same day that I bought the Ninja Turtle films on DVD at Walmart. Walmart was running a sale, and I got all three Ninja Turtle films on DVD for like 20 bucks. And this was way back in the day because now you can get them for peanuts on DVD. Um, but yeah, but anyway, yeah, so it's just positive memories. And I, of course, played the still, still from time to time, I'll get that out and. And play that. I actually, I think inside the game, I wrote down all the moves for Liu Kang and kept it in the game case so I would know what to do. And it's funny because there's a glitch on that game. If you play it in a PS2, if you die and lose, the game freezes. You literally have to reset the game to play it again. It's it's weird how it, it's like that, but it was some glitch that they never fixed um, with the game. But also, um, 
getting into the later games, I remember my cut co- another another cousin. I believe he had he. I know he had Deadly Alliance. Did he have Deadly Alliance? I think he had Armageddon, and we used to play that a lot when I would go to his house. And um, I remember using Johnny Cage a lot because Johnny because that's the one that it, it has weapons in it as well. And I remember Johnny Cage had the nunchuck, and I would always use the nunchuck, which was cool. And I think that's Armageddon. I don't think he had Deadly Alliance, um, but I do like that one. I like Deadly Alliance. I like Armageddon. Shallow Monks is cool. And that's really it. I never got into the some of the other, the later Mortal Kombat games. Um, Mortal Kombat 10, Mortal Kombat 9, the remake I've never played, Mortal Kombat XL I've never played. Uh, maybe one of these days I will in, investigate and check them out. Because um, I am a fan. I, I will always be a fan of Mortal Kombat. And just growing up, you know, with the franchise, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's still very cool to have. Um, one, You know, I have Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. One of these days, I will pick up the respective versions of the probably the first three games. Because, you know, I love playing them. And I don't mind having the different versions of them. Because I know there's differences with each version. Uh, Mortal Kombat, like I said, 3 is on PlayStation. I would like to pick that up. Uh, Mortal, um, There's a few for Sega Saturn. I do have a Sega Saturn. I do want to get Sega CD because Mortal Kombat 1 got a Sega CD release. And it, it's pretty much just like the arcade version, which is cool. So I'd like to pick those up at some point. One of these days, you know. I'm not really in a rush to get them again. I would like to get a video game system for here, but it'll probably be a PS2. And with that, I probably will pick up Deadly Alliance and Armageddon and Shallon Monks, you know, the ones that are available for PlayStation 2, because those are fun games to play. Um, the music, you know, I love the music in the games. I think they're really cool. And I actually have the soundtrack at home, the game soundtrack that had all the characters, theme songs and stuff. That's pretty cool. I really like some of the songs on there, although they really have nothing. They're not in the game, but they're still cool to have. And of course, the movie soundtrack, I love the death. A lot of great songs on there. Even the second one, like I said, I really enjoy the soundtrack to the second Mortal Kombat movie. Even though I'm not, you know, I can watch the movie. And when I was a kid, I liked it. You know, I will admit, I remember, um, well, I'll get that later, but I do like the the second, you know, the, when I was a kid, I liked it. But the soundtrack kicks ass. I still enjoy the soundtrack very much. Um, I remember there was a live tour I never got a chance to see that. There's no like video or anything of, well, official video. I'm sure there's bootlegs floating around that people snuck cameras in. But um, I do remember that. I never got to see that firsthand. You know, I'm sure it was not spectacular. But, you know, oh well. But Mortal Kombat Mania was huge, man. It was a big deal back in the day. Um, I remember some of the toys. I would like to get some of the toys. Being a toy collector. Um the comic books, there's some comic books out there that I like to pick up, even though they're not particularly good. But the movies, again, the first movie is a classic. I grew up with it. I had the VHS. Um, I, I, it's pretty, it's getting worn out because I used to watch the movie a lot growing up as a kid. And I still watch it frequently. You know, I still love the movie. Again, it's my favorite video game film. It's definitely, I think, the best video game film. I'm sure people would say that maybe the first Tomb Raider was, but I still think Mortal Kombat was the best video game movie ever put out. And it's definitely my favorite. And I enjoy Double Dragon and Street Fighter and Mario Brothers and Wing Commander and some of the other ones out there. I know I'm probably alone in that, but oh well. But the second movie, again, you know, I remember renting it when it first came out on VHS and I liked it as a kid. I remember I used to watch it on TV quite a bit, same with the first film and you know, as a kid, I liked it, but as I got older, I realized it's, it's not a very good movie. But again, you know, I still, I think the fight scenes were well done. Um, I just think that there was a lot of stuff, you know, they just, they just tried too hard. They really tried too hard on it. And there was just too much going on in the movie. If they would have taken a step back and slowed things down a little bit, I think they could have done, you know, pretty good job with the second one. And then maybe we would have got a third one. I don't know. But uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy, I've never seen. I really don't care to see it. I've heard nothing really but shitty things. Um, if you like it, cool. Um, I just have really no interest in seeing it. Um, 
and then the rebirth, which was like the little movie that kicked it off. That was okay. I didn't mind that to be honest, but you know, it wasn't the craziest about it. You know, it's like okay, I don't know what is what it is. But yeah, you know, just growing up in the '90s, growing up with Mortal Kombat, I know again there was a lot of controversy from the video games for being violent, but ev pretty much everything that has come out after Mortal Kombat is, you know, Mortal Kombat even especially today. It's pretty tame, you know. It, first of all, it's a video game. It's very cartoony in terms of the way that they, you know, the fatalities and everything. It's like, come on, man. You know, it's here real here. It's a fucking video game. But, I mean, you look at stuff like Grand Theft Auto and God of War and Conker's Bad Fur Day. And, you know, there was a lot more controversial shit that came out after Mortal Kombat. But um, Mortal Kombat is definitely significant in that respect because I think it was the first time where video game developers and creators were like, let's see how far we can go with this before people get pissed off. I think that was really one of the, if not the first game, one of the first games to really garner that kind of curiosity of how far can we take this with video games. Because at that point, you know, that was the 16-bit era. You know, that was the, you know, the 16-bit, 32-bit era. And it's like, all right, you know, let's, technology has improved. We've come a long way from the original Mario Brothers, you know, and Donkey Kong. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can up the ante and see what peop how people will react to this. So, yeah, I think that, again, you know, Mortal Kombat was one of the first games to do that. And it is significant. You know, it was Street Fighter with blood and guts because Street Fighter was a big hit. But Street Fighter didn't have any blood and guts in it. You know, and Mortal Kombat, you know, took the, the realm, took the reins, so to speak, and uh, pushed that envelope forward. So there you go. Uh, much like Friday the 13th did, you know, Halloween was the first, you know, the sla first slasher film to get all the credit because, you know, Psycho is definitely a slasher film. Black Christmas, you know, had come out before Halloween. But Halloween was really the one that kicked off the whole genre. But there was really no blood in Halloween. Friday the 13th is like, all right, let's make Halloween. Let's make it with blood and guts. So there you go. But yeah, you know, kind of wrapping this up, you know, I've just been a huge fan of Mortal Kombat for, you know, since I can remember, you know, growing up, you know, renting the games, you know, from the video store on, on Sega Genesis, borrowing the neighbor's games, you know, going to friends and relatives' houses and playing the games. Growing up with the movie, I do remember the cartoon. I remember watching the cartoon. I remember watching the live action show. And, you know, just it was a it was cool to live through that, you know, much like Power Rangers. You know, that was another big thing when I was a kid. Um, you know, it was cool to live through that, you know, Mortal Mania, you know, playing the games and waiting for the next game to come out and, you know, the movies and everything, you know, and who could, no one will ever forget the theme song. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, you know, it's, it's as iconic as the games itself, you know. And, you know, I'm glad that the, I'm glad they're still making them. You know, I'm glad that the franchise has progressed and, and they're still making them. And I know people are wondering, well, what are your thoughts about Special Forces and the Sub-Zero? I've never played Special Forces. The Sub-Zero game sucks. I remember playing that. That's an awful fucking game. Um, I think that was it. Out of, the, like, the spinoff games. But yeah, you know, it was cool to be part of that era. It was cool to experience that. And I'm glad it's still around. I'm glad kids today are still in love with Mortal Kombat and are still playing Mortal Kombat and experiencing the games themselves. You know, will they, will most people nowadays shit on the original games? Yeah. You know, will they shit on the movies? Yeah. But the true fans like myself that lived through it, that experienced it, you know, again, I know I was a little kid, but I still remember this stuff. And, you know, the true fans know where Mortal Kombat came from and will respect Mortal Kombat for all time. So anyway, I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to share your thoughts or memories of Mortal Kombat, drop a comment down below. Don't be afraid. And until the next time, as always, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. And remember, Mortal Kombat! Sorry, I had to. Peace.